Hey everybody, so we left off uh, solving the love triangle and now we've got who's there. All right, so let's take down our keywords. Let's take down our uh, other notes. And obviously we know at this point it's gonna be wrapped in a Nick flag. So saying bots have been using a program to go back into time to disrupt our current timeline. They've included uh, they have joined all the known web forums, including this Discord. Okay. Well, there's definitely a Discord associated with us. Can you figure out who this culprit is and expose them? They have been reported to have been named after a movie. View hint. Maybe there are some recent arrivals watching our activities in, on the Discord. All right. Well, to do this, I'm going to have to actually load up Discord. I'm going to have to make sure that I'm joined in. And... Let's go ahead and I've got our Discord up. So I'm going to do this and I'm also going to just quickly say, and this is from, uh, of course, Spring Forward. Right now it's a little dead because obviously everything's been solved. The uh, CTF is over. But keywords, um, before we go further, is we know it's on Discord. We know uh, after a movie and we're looking for a user. It might be deeper than that, but we'll have to figure it out. And I'm going to show you what some people did as well. Uh, but let's go in. All right. So going into the rules and roles um, or where Newark arrival, the arrivals. I don't know what that was about in there. But um, you can see all the arrivals that popped in. And honestly, just scrolling in, you can see who's joined, who did what, who did when. Or you scroll through and you start looking for somebody who's a little bit different. And there are a lot of users to go through. Now you could search, but honestly, this is a more of a manual task. You're looking for something that doesn't doesn't quite make sense. Hey, he's part of the robot overlords. You could have searched role. No, nope, not here. Role uh, robot overlords, maybe. Maybe new. No, that didn't work. Uh, you could kind of just go through there. But honestly, we know that we are looking for a robot. So that is a good hint. Uh, you sometimes have to do very manual things. And we're going to go back. I know where he is. He's here purposefully trying to blend into the background. Uh, and we have Dark Fate. Now, his name is Dark Fate. And some people tried to submit Dark Fate. That is not the answer. We need to look at his profile. We need to see what's going on. Why? You know, what, what was happening? Um, and kind of try to figure out uh, interesting. I uh, try to figure out if there's any actual flag. Flags obviously will look like the flags. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, but instead, since I'm working off of my virtual machine, I'm just gonna copy his uh, profile. We were just on Twitter, right? So we're gonna come back. Um, delete this. Um, well, not delete, but you know what I mean. Twitter.com slash at. And was it this? No, that was not it. Um, one moment. That was not his uh, Twitter. But it was here. I just didn't hit control C well enough. And now we can come back. All right, so now we have Dark Fate rolling up. Why does this screen do this sometimes? Oh yeah. Anyway, so we have Dark Fate uh, profile coming up. No, I don't want to sign in, no. Uh, is he after a movie? Absolutely, this is the Terminator, and it says, Nick, I'll be back. The flag is absolutely right there. It says, location six years from the future. What? 
that wasn't that hard. Uh, OSINT is just using the information that you have available to you. And we say this every time and uh, sometimes it tricks people, but it's, it's not. It's using what's actively available. Uh, and that took less than five minutes. Great job. All right, next up, out my head.